Hi, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to draw parts or solids in AutoCAD, in an easy and simple way, with basic AutoCAD tools. So for this, I have this example. In a previous drawing I made another piece. This time I'm going to make this solid from here. Then we are going to start drawing the base. As we can see, the base is 100x 50x 15. So we are going to do it in a quick way. With the box tool. Right. Then we draw quickly an approximate solid. To do it as quickly as possible. Left click. The one that is normal click. Right click, properties. And here I am going to change its dimensions. Then, length is in X. The first dimension of length is X. This is Y, and this is Z, then in X. How much do I have? In this direction, I have 100. Okay, it will gradually decrease, no problem, then I do it, zoom, and the next one is Y, 50. Correct. 50. And the next one is 15 as we see in the drawing. Then here it is. I double click will mouse. To make a zoom extends. That's it. I'm going to reduce it a bit, and here it is. I already have it. Okay. So in the next step I'm going to turn on parallel view first. Then right click on this orientation cube. Parallel view. That helped me to draw more easily could activate it here. Instead of realistic view, I'm going to see the drawing in X-ray view. Then it is already activated, I see it transparent. And the next thing I'm going to draw are these two holes. I'm going to do it by subtraction, and I'm going to draw two cylinders. To be able to subtract, then I see that it is 15 by 15. I am going to draw at the base or above, so that you can see how it can also be done. Here I go. I'm going to deactivate Osnap with F3, and I'm going to activate Polar Tracking. Right, then I'm going here. I take this, and I activate it. In this case it is already activated. And as you can see, the orientation hits me like a bean. So, I wait for the green ray. And digit 15. On the other side I wait for the lightning. And digit 15, and I already have the center of these holes. I do the same here. I quickly activated the Osnap, F3, I wait the ray. I deactivate the Osnap. Is 15 and another 15. That's it. Now I'm going to the cylinders. F3 to activate the Osnap. That's it. The radius is. Diameter 2. Then 6. And I put any dimension. Remember that it is only for subtraction. So I copy this. I'm going to copy myself. Here I go to the other center. That's it. It is in another center, and I do a subtraction. And now you selected it with left click. Enter. I select the cylinders that I am going to subtract. With these two. Left click, left click again. Enter. The holes are already there. Now I'm going to do the bevel from here with fillet. 
Fillet tool. Here it is. And I see that fillet is with radius 15. Then I put. Here it does not let me see. I move it around here a little. To make it look. And I put radius 15. I select this one from here. Again enter. The fillet is done. Now I'm going to rotate the view a bit. I press shift. The button in the middle of the wheel mouse. I'm going to turn to select this point right here. OK. Now I make fillet. Radius, that's it, 15. Enter. I select this line here where I am going to do fillet. Enter, and again I press enter. Right. This part of the base is already there. Now I'm going to rotate again. Shift, I press the mouse wheel. And I'm going to do the following. I'm going to erase these lines from here to decongest. Right. Line. Remember that, I am selecting it like this, because I have cyclical selection activated. Line. And here another line. So now we continue. We are going to make the piece that makes up the top, a part. We're going to make it out of the first piece. To make it easier. Then we make a box. In this part of here. And we draw approximately. As we have seen previously. And we make the length X, which would be 38. 38 width and Y, 15 and the height is 65 minus 15. 50. That's it. Now I'm going to rotate this a bit. And I'm going to make a line to guide me, 100 here. I wait for the lightning. 100. Correct. I'm going to copy this from here. This vertex and copied it here. We're. Now I'm going to draw these two from here. We will rotate as well. I'm going to draw it apart, and then he copied it. Here it is, it is X, 15. Width, it becomes 46. And the height 50. I'm going to copy it. Or move first. I move it from here to here. I'm going to rotate it. I copy this piece here. It is done. Now. I can draw this part here too if I want to. Let's do it at once. Then. I think you can see it better. So, here to get to this semicircle, I have to go down 25. Correct. Then I deactivate the OSNAP. F3. I develop it down. 25. Here the width 24. And nothing else. Now, drawing. So I have to draw in this part here, which is the front part. Right. Then I go here and search front. Front so that the X, Y coordinates change in the part where I want to draw a circle. I click. That's it. Now I do draw the circle. It's okay. So, I'm going to close this. And if I want to draw in this plane, in the same plane, remember that you can also do it with by changing coordinates with three points. Then, first, 
It asks me for the origin. I'm going to change the origin here. Then it asks for the X. We are going to move this from here. So you can see the X here. And then the Y. We are going to do it here. And that's it. So now the coordinate system is right in the same plane. We draw a polyline to finish closing this area. Here. And here. Enter. And we apply the poly command. To be able to create a polyline on the edge of an entire area. In this case I want from this whole area. I'm going to apply here. Click and in this case, this one that prevents me, the AutoCAD is probably getting confused with some line that is out there. Then I'm going to take it one apart. I have this polyline and I am going to copy this separately. I'm going to move it. I move it around here. And here again applied poly. And pick here, and that's it. So this I click on move. From here to here right. Now, then I apply the press pull command. The one from here. I select the polyline. I give the length. Which in this case is 46. And voila. Now I could go make fillet from here. And I'm going to this command. Here, 15 and that's it. Enter. Enter again. Also here, 15. That's it, enter, enter again. Right. Now I'm going to turn a bit. This from here. A little more. And I'm going to make this slice with this command from here. But first I'm going to make a guide. So, I'm going here. I'm going to remove the osnap. And it is 15. Also here it is 15. And here it is. Here I am also going to draw another guide, perpendicular, here. Ready. So, I use slice tool. Right. Of this solid. 3D solid. Enter. And now, he selected three points. Right. I select these points. And this solid I remove it. And in the same way here. I already have it, I simply delete it here, and again the copy. Again the copy with the solid already lowered. This copy it here. And this one. So, I already have this part of the solid. And the whole solid as a whole is practically finished. I'm going to go to the UCS world again. That's it. Then I am going to erase everything that are lines, which are not necessary. I'm going to move all of this up at once. Up here. And I'm going to gather all the solids. So with the join tool, I'm going to join all the solids. I select everything. And enter. Then that's it. It is all a solid. Then I'm going to move it so that the lines that we used as a guide remain behind. And we delete this, and now we have the solid. I'm going to put a realistic view. And we already have the solid. Right. I'm going to put it back in X-ray view. With X-ray tool. And I'm going to do this part here. This fillet from these areas quickly. 
What we do is fillet. We select it. And we are going to give it the value of 1 for fillet to see how it looks. Enter. And how can you see if roughly the same fillet has been created? So we do a procedure here. Enter. Enter again. We already have the radius configured. Enter. Enter again. Enter. Enter again. On the other hand we press and invoke the same command. Pressing enter. Click on the line. Enter. Enter again. And so we continue with the following. And ready. We already have this part. And finally. We forgot about this hole. Then we are going to put it a position that we can see this part. I think it's fine. Then we are going to do it in the following way. Here a line. Here another line. Here it is, it is the center of the circle. I'm going to place the coordinate system on the right side. Then I select right. And I am going to draw or in front we are going to draw a cylinder of radius 5. Correct. And I'm going to stretch it over there. Enter. And that's it. Now I'm going to turn the view so you can see. Then simply what I do is the subtraction of solids. This one that becomes the main solid minus this one from here. And ready. The holes are already there. Now the solid was completely finished. I'm going to see it in its realistic view. It is done. And with the bevel over here. You will remove these helplines. And that's it. You can see the solid is completely finished with the beveling even inside. Well folks that's all. If you liked it, click on like. You can also share the video with their friends or colleagues. Subscribe to YouTube channel to receive more videos. I invite you to enter the social networks where you can find more tutorials, tips and tricks of AutoCAD. You can access social networks through the icons found in the video or the links will also be found in the descriptive part of the video. And well that would be all, have a very good day. Until next time.